Hi everyone, so as I previously mentioned in my Prismacolor Color Rays review, I uh, actually it might not have been that video. Anyway, either way, I previously mentioned that I was going to do a review on a water brush that I got recently that was quite cheap, uh, so this is it. So this is a six pack of water brushes. There are three flat brushes and three round brushes and they're all in increasing sizes. So there's no, none of them are the same or anything. And then you also get a daisy palette, which I showed at the beginning. And that only comes to £8.99. Uh, and to give you some kind of comparison, if you don't know, a Pentel Aquash, which is a pretty standard water brush, that's £3.95. So this is a really pretty cheap set. And it's also quite nice that it comes in the pack that holds all of the pens together, so that's really good for travelling, particularly as water brushes are great for travelling anyway. The round brushes come to a really good point, they're really quite nice. Uh, the smallest one is pretty small, I think it's probably the smallest water brush I've owned. I've had quite a few brands now. Uh, the flat ones, one of them's a little bit splayed at the edges, but it's not too bad and I don't think it actually is an issue in use. So now I'm going to get onto the speed paint and show you what they're like in use and give you a bit more information about that. So for this painting I've just stretched some watercolour paper onto a tile like I usually do. I do have a video explaining how I do that if you're interested, so I can link that in the cards and in the description. So this is a painting of just a sunflower and a daisy on a kind of slate background. I've used some masking fluid just to leave some areas lighter on the centre of the sunflower. So as you can probably see, this uh, background is quite patchy. Water brushes aren't amazing for flat colour as it is, and as you probably know, with watercolours and trying to do flat colour, you want to use the biggest brush you possibly can and then go into the more detailed areas with a smaller brush when you have to. Unfortunately, the biggest brush with this set isn't that big, and it does mean that it wasn't very flat colour at all. This is the biggest brush I was using, so I did my best, but I wouldn't recommend using these for large areas of flat colour, I don't think they work that well for that. But they are very good for portability, I mean they've got the water already in them, you can clean them with the water in them, use the water and the paint with the water already in them, they are very handy. And I wanted a more kind of textured background anyway, so I wasn't too fast, I didn't really care about getting a flat colour that much, as you can see, because I mean I'm adding salt and new layers of paint, I obviously didn't want it to be flat colour. As you could probably see, that lovely round brush does come to a really nice point, and it means even though it's a pretty big brush, I'm still going between the petals pretty easily with it. It's nice and easy to control. I know some water brushes have a small constant flow of water. These ones don't. There is no constant flow. You have to press to make any water come out. So. That's great for me, because I'm not a big fan of the ones that just kind of spout water whether you want them to or not, but if you're not looking for that, then these probably aren't the water brushes for you. Having a water brush is quite helpful with blending, because there's no dipping back into a pot of water to quickly blend anything out. And I'm just using my cotton watercolours for this, by the way. I have the, uh, I think it's called like the studio set or something. It has all of the cotton colours in there. And you, you don't need a set that big. It has like 45 different colours in it. To be honest, I only got such a big set because it was about, I think it was about £15 for a £12 set or £23 for a £45 set. And I just couldn't resist that offer, so. You absolutely don't need to get that many, but if that offer's still going, you might as well. 
they're a decent quality, student grade watercolour. They've got a decent light fast rating, they're better than a lot of other student watercolours. And I think they work really well for the price. They're not crazy pigmented, but you can build them up. And they're really quite versatile. I'm going to use my polychromos at the end of this just to add a bit more detail in. And the satisfying parts, peeling off the masking fluid. You can get a tool for this, but as somebody with long nails, you can just use your fingernail to wiggle it off too. <laughs> that works just as well. And I was just flicking a bit of paint, adding some more texture to that background. Unfortunately got a little bit on the daisy, but that's what you get for not covering it up at all. So now I am just using those polychromos to neaten everything up and kind of just intensify colours and add in shadows where I want to. I really do like using coloured pencils after my watercolours to just add in a little bit more detail that you couldn't quite get with the watercolour. In this piece I only used I guess I'd say maybe four or five different colours in my polychromos. I used probably maybe four pans from my watercolour set and then I used those water brushes and the daisy palette. So the water brushes are really portable. I only used a couple of pencils and I only used a couple of watercolour pans. So with the daisy palette as well. So that is a really portable set and I could have easily done this not at my desk no problem at all. So if you're looking for portability or just maybe you just want some water brushes because they are fun to use anyway, then this is definitely a really good set. I'm not sponsored to say this at all by the way. You can probably tell I'm a tiny channel, nobody even knows who I am so <laughs> no one's gonna sponsor me but I think they're a really good set and had I known that the cheap water brushes were as good as the more expensive ones I would have never bothered with the more expensive ones. So I personally really don't see a difference at all. So I hope you found this review helpful and I hope you enjoyed this bean paint. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more please subscribe and let me know in the comments below if you want to see reviews on anything else or maybe me painting something specific. So thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.